So I'm working with, uh, you know, a bunch of first-time buyers. They, they, you know, they're looking at homes at a, at a lower price range. Mm -hmm. um, and some of those houses need some work. Mm -hmm. And my buyers may have just saved enough for the down payment. Mm -hmm. So are there options for them if they want to do some improvements on the house? Yeah, we do have uh, some programs that are available, one being our Purchase Plus Improvement, um, where the client can actually borrow up to uh, usually about 10% of the purchase price to put towards renovation costs, whether it's new flooring, new painting, sometimes just to replace the kitchen. It's not structural changes, it would be more of the cosmetic changes. Um, when we look at that, it, it allows clients to roll that amount into the actual mortgage once it's complete. So. It's important when people want to do that is do they have the funds up front or do they have funds that can be gifted to get the actual work completed okay. and then once it, the completion's there then that's where their lawyer would advance that final payment um, once there's proof that the work has been complete. Okay and uh, are there any tips about that? Do they need to do some, some work up front? In absolutely order to make that happen yeah absolutely so as part of the application we would require sort of quotes um, from contractors um, as we're looking at sending in that application so I would say when they're out with yourself as a realtor is really say are these things that we want to do and maybe when it's you're doing your home inspection or, or sort of that walkthrough yeah. is really say okay you know what let's get a contractor and see what those quotes are going to look like so as a mortgage specialist we have those up front and we can submit it at the same time as the application Right, that makes sense. And is there a maximum uh, for, for an improvement? Yeah, so depending if it's a default insured mortgage or conventional, we do have some caps that are there. Um, so it's just understanding, okay, what are we looking at putting in there? Obviously, you can't go and ask for $100,000. Um, there are caps that are available based right. on um, a percentage of the purchase price, but there's also a maximum cap. Okay.